Before we get into the patch notes, I'm here with a terrible news for my fellow Titans, although it's dependent because Arc 3 Pinot seems just as survivable, but Lorely Splendor has finally gotten the nerf that seems like every not Titan main has been calling for. Even though the description still says as follows, it creates a sunspot at your location that has improved restoration effects. Apparently, it has been officially nerfed so that when you spawn a barricade or when a sunspot spawns in critical, it does not say restoration times two anymore, it is only restoration times one. I don't have any footage of it, but I'm already seeing plenty of other people, so I figured I would just include this for anyone that goes to me instead of any of the other venues. We had the reset, so we had the Eververse, and we had the seasonal happenings this week, but we also have a hot fix to go over. So, basically, starting for some bug fixes for King's Fall. Fixed issues where players could repeatedly die when reviving during the Basilica and Oryx encounters while encountering wipe, or while the encounter wipe happens. Fixed an issue where the overzealous triumph requirement was unclear and could not be completed. Fixed an issue where the selection of the rune during the crux section of King's Fall would prevent completion of the secret deep sight weapon chest puzzle. So I believe that means the red weapon chest has been fixed so you can actually try it again. I know my team did it just last night and it worked, uh, so it was kind of working, but now it should be working permanently. Fixed an issue where King's Fall carry stat was not being incremented. And fixed an issue where the falling buffs and debuffs were missing icons. Now they still appeared, all these still appeared on your screen, they just didn't have an icon. So, it could have been missed, maybe. Then, for gameplay investment, fixed an issue where the Valhund exotic ornament had an incorrect tooltip and was missing from the ornament screen. For weapons, fixed an issue where the shaped BXR 55 battler did not receive a masterwork border when a player included two enhanced perks and enhanced intrinsic perk. Fixed an issue where the Quicksilver Storm grenades could add permanent buffs to your character. Quicksilver Storm has been since re enabled, and Telesto has been reprimanded. Because, damn it, Telesto, you're teaching your son wrong. But then for abilities, fix an issue where Storm Trancer, uh, Storm Trance's damage was not increasing over time while attacking. Fist Navics, uh, Fist an issue, which I don't think this is an issue, this looked like fun, but of course it was still a bit of an exploit. But fix an issue where Fist of Havoc could be activated while the player was in Ballistic Slam resulted in a very, very, very long leap. Also, fix an issue where specific melee abilities, notably Shiver Strike and Thunderclap, were not activating at close range when using the Charge Melee Keybind. So if you have a Keybind that's specifically for Charge Melee, not like me who has a scrub and just has the melee button for Charge and Uncharge, it should be different now. And for platforms and systems, fix an issue uh, where silver, silver Sync issue on the Epic Game Store that blocks some players from completing Silver and Entitlement purchases. So, there's that. There's a quick hot fix for anyone that's been wondering what's going on in the world and i will see you in the next video